Hello, this video is uh, basically how to dis disassemble an Asus T91 mini netbook. Um, it's fairly easy once you know what you're doing. There's one little catch on it that took me a little while to figure out. Um, it's probably what brought you guys mostly here to watch this video. You might be asking, how in the heck do I get the battery out? How do, how do I get to the, um, you know, the Wi-Fi card to upgrade the um, speed? Uh, how do I get to the hard drive, etc., etc.? Well, I'll show you here. There are a total of 10 screws on the back, and I went ahead and took most of the screws out, uh, you know, just for time purposes. And there's two right here. So there's a total of 10 screws. And uh, as you can see there, I have, I have uh, most of them out. And then there's on the lid. There's two. You wanna you wanna take out the um, you wanna take out the lid because there's a little switch here for the battery, as you can see here. And you wanna turn that battery off. Okay. <clears throat> then you wanna uh, take off the keyboard. To do that, there's three little small metal. Uh, tags here. And it's fairly easy to get to. You just you'll see and they're little small little metal things. You just want to push down on it with a little thin um, flathead if you have it. Or probably a small butter knife would do it as well. And then of course you you pry pry up your keyboard like that. And there's a little ribbon here. There's two little plastic hinges you basically you move those towards you and then there's your keyboard there's a total of nine screws here um, there's one that's hidden under a little yellow yellow um, sticker and basically it says void if removed well I think these were made in 2009 2010 so your warranties ran out anyway so feel free to, to take that off and take the screw out And I, again, I went ahead and removed most of the screws on here. Now, the tricky part here, that if you don't know what you're doing, you could end up breaking your, your uh, palm rest here. There's a little uh, plastic cover that goes over the, the center hinge here to your, um, to your touch screen. And to remove that, you want to get your small little flathead and you want to go here right in the center here and you want to move it towards you and that thing will pop out I went ahead and already removed it so it'll be a little bit easier for me but you just have to work it and that'll pop off okay and I went ahead and removed their screws there's four screws there's two here on the left and then two on the right and the best way to easiest way to access that is to move your screen like that and as you can see there there's um, two sh screw holes there which I took out and two here and so probably most of you guys can end the video here because that's probably what you were looking for um, now to remove the battery you have to take off the bottom cover uh, this is also a little bit tough uh, if you feel comfortable knowing that you got all the screws out um, all ten on the back all nine on the uh, the front then uh, feel free to be slightly aggressive with it um, because that's what it takes I recommend that you start from the back uh, it's actually a little bit more difficult to start from the front but again get your flathead small flathead and and you basically pry and then you go a little bit down each row uh, probably a couple of butter knives would help you with this um, and uh, that's pretty much all you have to do so again it's easier it's easier to work your way from the back and then go to the front.
There's that. Pretty much that's what your motherboard looks like. Um, this uses one of those uh, hard drives. It's like the mini, mini hard drives. It's not a SATA, which is unfortunate. These are actually a lot more expensive than the SATA hard drives, and you don't get hardly anything with it. Like this is like a 20 gig. Um, they're like 50 or 60 bucks on eBay to replace. You know, as opposed to a SATA, you can get as low as 10 to 20 bucks. Um, to uh, disconnect the battery, it's pretty easy. And you, know, you got these two little screws here that's under these tabs. And this laptop is primarily for showing purposes. I mean, it's it's bad already, so that's one reason I'm not grounding myself. So any any comments that I get regarding that, that's the reason. Um, here's your two screws. If you're interested um, in this uh, little mini uh, screwdriver, it's battery powered. Um, I got this on eBay. I think I paid around 25 bucks for it. Um, you can probably get them cheaper elsewhere, but this one's really good. It's got a lifetime warranty on it. Uh, I saw them on eBay. eBay. If you go to um, eBay and you type um, laptop battery power cordless screwdriver, uh, you'll see it on there. They're red. Um, and I've been, I've had mine for over a half a year, and it's just, it's saved me so much time. And there's your battery. Hope this helps. Have a great day.